and welcome to the HEADS tutorials. Today we will be exploring how to improve your scores. Here we'll be visiting the GMAT, the GRE, the LSAT, and the MCAT test prep. So to begin, we begin in our homepage, which you see right here on my screen, which is heads.org. Here you will, to access this resource, you will click on the virtual plaza and click on the student placita. After it, that you will then look for the Pearson test prep. This is formerly known as the Testing and Education Reference Center, just in case I say that word, you know what I'm talking about, or Turk. Here you will look for your institution. Every institution has their own access code, so be sure to verify yours with your ambassador or with our office directly. And here, for example, my university is the University of Puerto Rico. So I will access here. Here is where the passcode will be asked, but since I already accessed it, it's a one-time thing most of the time. So just one time and you have unlimited access. So to begin here, we will go to the Peterson's test prep. And here you will have this main menu. You have to log in or register. Uh, this is very good because more on you will find out that you can actually uh, look for colleges and different scholarships. So it will be very good for it to rem remember your account. Here I go. Once I logged in, I am sorry. Here you will have full access. Since we're gonna focus on the GMAT, the GRE, LSAT, and MCAT, you will go to this main menu, which is improve your score. And we will go to grad school. Here's where you will find this test. Here we have the GMAT, the GRE, LSAT, MCAT, and the MIT. For example, if I'm in the medicine branch, I want to enter medicine, medical school, I will take the MCAT. So I will click on the MCAT right here. And here you have the practice test. And just in case you have other resources available right here. So once you enter the MCAT prep, you will see the MCAT course. Here you will see the content that this includes. For the MCAT, you have three practice tests, each divided, each divided per section. So right now I have done three, uh, one of the three tests right here. So I will have the check mark. And if I wanna see my progress, I will just go over here to grades and it will divide it by test and section and tell me how many points and my grade average per test. And you can also see your class progress. Here you see how much you are, you are practicing right now, how much you have passed, and the needs and remedi remediation. Here you see the content that you have practiced, discussions, and all will be very divided for you right here. If you wanna see how one of these tests are, you will just go to the content where I was. And so let's say I want to practice the chemical and physical foundations. So here it will tell me the time, how, many, how much time I will have to take the test and to start the quiz with the instructions right here. With the test, this is passage-based most of them so you can see here per page how many passages and questions you have and here you have the passage for the questions one through seven so once i read and analyze all the uh, all the information given i will just start answering my different questions obviously you will be doing it consciously and reading thoroughly but let's say I am done with that one and I will do one more passage. And let's say I'm done. So I will just submit my quiz. 
the program will tell you, hey, you have 48 unanswered questions, so you can just jump back into them. For example, if I wanted to answer 19, which I forgot, I got those two, and now I want to submit my quiz. So we just scroll to the end. You can go back to the questions or submit. And after you submit, it will give you a detailed description of your results, including which ones you got incorrect, which one is the correct answer, and why it's the correct answer. So you are also learning from the incorrect answers. Here I got this one correct, so you would assume it wouldn't tell me, but it will still explain why it's the correct answer. So you get an explanation to both incorrect and correct, and even to those which are unanswered. Here you will have the feedback also accessible, so just because you skip one, it will not limit to explain why it is correct or incorrect. So once I am done checking this, it will tell me how much was my score, my percentile, and my highest attempt. And here it will do a, a graph of, a, of my class average, which is how much I got correct in percentile, and my score average, and the average grade of the users uh, uh, using this platform. So once I go back to content, I can just continue studying with another section. Or, for example, I still have some unfinished business with this uh, section, so I could just click on continue. Here, you will also be told if you're missing anything or if you want to check back. And that is for the MCAT. It is the same as for the other tests. If I go into the LSAT, for the LSAT, you have the ebook, which you can download and have accessible at all times. And the test will be the same format. You have the content right here available. So you know you have two tests available for the LSAT. You have your grades, how much you have gotten per section and which you uh, still haven't completed and your class progress, which is right here. The content I have visited and how much time I've, I've spent studying. And if I go back right here, it will be the same for all of these uh, tests so you can improve your score. I hope all of this information is useful. Remember that this is accessible for any device. It can be your phone, your tablet. Remember to share this information. It is accessible for anyone who wants to use it. And I hope you get to get gain a lot of knowledge and experience from this tutorial. Good luck.